In today's video, I'm gonna be talking you guys through the fitness journey I've been through over the past eight years. Now, the reason as to why I'm taking you guys through the fitness journey I've been through is so that I can motivate others to do exactly what I have done and so they can experience the benefits I've also reaped of optimizing my health, body, getting myself in the gym, training hard consistently day in and day out over the past eight years. I'll take you through how I've gone about optimizing my health and training my body, the results I've seen, and essentially the whole process from A to B, starting from the age of 14 to the age I'm currently at right now, which is 22. So first and foremost, what motivated me to start getting in the gym, training and lifting weights? So back at the age of about 14, I think I started to take sports a little bit more seriously. I was playing tennis at a very high level at the time. I was also playing football and rugby. I noticed that everyone else around me started to get quite big quite quickly and I was often the smaller guy on the pitch or the field, whatever you're talking about in terms of the athletic competition field. Um, and for me at that time, I didn't want to be shoved off the board. I didn't want to be pushed around by the bigger guys. I didn't want to be the small guy in the group at school either. So I started going to the gym at school in year eight at the time, I think year eight, year nine, so about 14 years old. Um, and I was training in there about three times per week just to put on a little bit of size, a little bit of tissue. Again, it's primarily from like a, a position of feeling inferior to other individuals in the group who are a bit bigger, a bit stronger than me. Um, and also they're getting more attention from girls at the time as well, I was being totally honest and I also wanted that attention. So I started to get myself in the gym. I was training three times per week, drinking as many protein shakes as possible, going through the whole kind of bro aspect of training where I was training one muscle group per session. Uh, it was mainly chest. I didn't think I ever trained back for the first year or so. Uh, chest and arms, I think, were the only sessions I'd ever hit for the first year or so in the school gym. And my fitness journey started there. So at the time, as I said, I was playing tennis at a very high level, uh, county and national level. I was also doing cross country at a national level as well. Uh, and I was also playing rugby and football around county levels within the school and also externally outside of school as well. So I was a very fit individual, cardiovascularly speaking. But when it came to putting on tissue, I was a scrawny little kid. I was also carrying a little bit of body fat and a little bit of excessive body fat. I was a little bit chubby at the time as well. And for me, that took my confidence and it kind of knocked it back a little bit as well because I was often the kid wearing a little bit of like a baggy t-shirt, necessarily a baggy t-shirt, I think it's fair to say as well. Uh, the reason being, I just didn't feel very confident in my body and I wanted to change that quite quickly. So yeah, the process started there. Uh, and then if we fast forward to the about the age of 15, 16, I started to get into gyms uh, very frequently. I started training with heavier weights. I started knowing, uh, learning a little bit more about what I was doing, speaking to more people. Uh, and I got in pretty good shape at that point as well. Unfortunately, at the age of 16, this is kind of where I went wrong. I was competing at a very high level with all my sports and taking it a lot more seriously to the extent where I got a scholarship to my sixth form um, for my participation in sports at a national level. Um, but at that time, I developed a little bit of an eating disorder. Uh, and in retrospect, it was pretty much anorexia or a form of that, not necessarily sure which eating disorder it was, but it got, it got to the point where I was eating probably about one and a half thousand calories, a thousand calories per day max, but I was going out for a 10K run at five o'clock in the morning. I'd then come back from school and go to the gym. I'd then do about three to four hours of tennis training in the evening. And I was also growing at the age of 16. So I was probably burning about 4,000 calories. I got to the point where I look, my, look at myself in the mirror and I was in great shape at the time, but I look at myself in the mirror and I think, dude, you're fat. What the hell are you doing? What's going wrong in this process? So I started removing all carbohydrates from my food. I'd often hide food from my parents to make sure it looked like I'd eaten my food when I actually hadn't. And it got to the point where I blacked out three times. It one time being, I fell into my dog's bed and blacked out, woke up, had no idea how I got into there because I was so iron deficient, I had magnesium deficient also. Um, but the doctor didn't tell me that at the time, but I kind of worked that out myself a few years later. So I got to that point at 16, I knew that I had to make something, something had to change. Um, so I started training or educating myself by the nutrition in terms of that topic matter between the ages of 16 to 18, especially whilst in sick form. I wasn't particularly um, inspired by education at that time. So I started to inform myself of training, how to optimize that variable of my life and how to take that into a business sense and apply that also. So nutrition, training, sleep, all those protocols were something that I was completely obsessed with at that time. I started educating myself a lot on YouTube, um, watching individuals like Christian Guzman, Matt, Matt Ogus, the kind of old school bodybuilding guys, men's physique guys, and watching more scientific uh, evidence-based content also in terms of nutrition and that realm, reading more research papers, etc. Um, so at that point I was training, I think about five to six times per week, primarily with a, a hypertrophy style of training. So getting into the gym, hitting my squats, deadlifts, bench, working my compound movements, optimizing my strength in that respect, um, regulating my frequency depending on how stressed out I felt as well. And I got in pretty good shape, put on a lot of muscle tissue, started getting the attention that I wanted at the time as well, which is great in terms of girl attention also. And I felt so much more confident by the age of 18 where I was that guy in the year that was the guy that was training. I had that confidence, I had that expertise, that, that knowledge that I'd acquired over the past few years in terms of how to transform my body. And I took myself through that process um, from not knowing anything about my body 
and how to optimize and train that, that, that area of my life and how to go from there at the age of 14 to 18, being in really good shape, very knowledgeable in that field and very, very confident as a result of that. So that transformation was a massive process. It was a four year process, but for me, it taught me that I could then apply that to any variable of my life, whether it be in a business context, whether it be in a relationship context with uh, like a girlfriend, for example, my family, I can achieve whatever I want to achieve if I put my mind to it. That's what that taught me and inspired me to do later on. So the age of 18, I didn't go to university. I decided not to go. I started to start working on my own business instead. I did a personal training qualification um, in Brighton for about three months. I then went from Brighton to moving into London uh, at the age of 18. I think it was 18, yeah, it was 18 actually. I remember back at the time I had like 500 pounds in my bank account moving into London, which was terrifying. But anyway, I made it work. Um, and from there I started training in gym box where I was working. Now, at this point, my training went downhill a little bit, actually, and I started to notice the negative implications of not looking after your health at the age of only 18, which sounds absolutely quite kind of quite bizarre, to be frank. But when you are first moving into London, obviously, you need to make ends meet. You need to work a lot. You need to work for very long hours. As a result of that, potentially neglect your health. And I did that at the age of 18 to about 19. So I was working from 5 o'clock in the morning to about 11 o'clock at night. I was completing my training sessions between about 2 and 3 p.m. in between clients, training for about half an hour to 90 minutes depending on the day how much time i had and often i'd be eating pretty fast food sources just to get it in in the morning so i'd be going from the train at like five in the morning getting on the tube going to the gym train my first client at six to about nine cram as much food as i could from the co-op which is often just really fast food sources like even like a chicken and bacon sandwich for example um not knowing anything about my gut health my microbiome even optimizing my, my sleep at that point it was something that i failed to optimize and there's something i neglected actually to a degree I was sleeping about five hours per night. And as a result of that, my training was something which was impaired quite significantly, or well, my ability to train was impaired quite significantly. So is my motivation to train, and also just in general, my mental cognition, my ability to focus, and also my body composition. My body composition got a lot worse quite quickly, even though I was eating under maintenance calories, because I was both so stressed, I wasn't taking care of my variables like my sleep, my nutrition, my gut health, um, any other food sources that I was consuming. Um, my, my cortisol levels in my body must have been very, very high at that time. And also in terms of hormonal function between the age of 18 to 19, your body's still trying to establish itself and get itself set. So it was a horrible mismatch. Um, so I started working my online business between the ages of 19 to 20, removed myself from working face-to-face -face with clients. And as a result of that, I could focus on my health once again. So between the ages of about 20 to 22, was when I've experienced the most growth in terms of my health, tra training and performance, and the most success I've had with that process also, to the extent where I now train about five to six days per week in the gym. I'm the strongest I've ever been. I'm the most confident in my body I've ever been. I'm probably in, I'm in very, very good shape right now also. Um, I'm, again, as I said, the strongest I've ever been, so I can hit, I think about 130 single on the bench right now, kg. Uh, my squat's very good, my deadlifts are looking very good at the moment also. Um, simply because I optimize every variable of my life in terms of sleep, making sure my sleep start and end times are consistent, making sure the food source I'm fueling myself with are optimal in terms of caloric density and also in terms of micronutrient density as well. Um, just taking care of every variable of my health and performance, but I can now train five, six days per week in the gym and I also do my cardiovascular work and cardiovascular training also. I recently completed a half marathon, which I've never done before in my entire life, just did it for fun. I did that in about one hour 40, I believe, and I'll put a screenshot on screen as well. I'll get Will to see that behind the camera. Um, about one hour 40 in the rain for, for London Marathon actually, which was about two or three weeks ago, which was obviously virtual because coronavirus. Uh, but for me, the pandemic taught me as well that I can achieve anything I want to achieve my body, um, whether or not I have gym equipment as well. So I was training primarily body weight uh, workouts for the majority of lockdown, where I have parallel bars over there, I have a pull-up bar as well, I was doing a lot of core cool work, and I got in very, very good shape very, very quickly. Um, so in terms of benefits of achieving my body transformation between the ages of 14 to 22, obviously an eight-year time span, I've learned so much about myself. I've pushed so many boundaries when it comes to what I could achieve, mentally speaking also. Like for example, my training session yesterday, probably one of the more brutal sessions I've hit as of late. Um, and my cardiovascular, my cardiovascular work towards the end of the session was 20 minutes of pure hell. I really didn't want to do it. It was quite late at night. Didn't want to get it done. Felt pretty sick from the session prior to also lower body session, bear in mind. But I got it done. And as a result of that, I'm shaping my mind and formulating my future in terms of what I want to be as an individual with my identity and how I try to strive through every difficulty I'm facing and achieve huge things in my life. Um, so for me, uh, how I do one thing is how I do everything. And that particularly applies to gym and obviously how that applies to my business also. So at the moment, as I said, I'm in the best I've ever been in. I feel extremely confident in terms of my personal life and in terms of how that applies to my business also. I hold myself high, my chest held high. 
um, similar to the Jordan Peterson, com uh, Peterson concept of the lobster. So shoulders back, chest high, back nice and straight, nice and confident posture. I hold that every day in every every meeting, every yeah, every interaction with a human possible. I'm in a very good position in that respect. Um, my ability to push myself mentally speaking when it comes to both training and obviously my business also has increased tenfold since I've achieved this body transformation. My ability to regulate my energy has also increased hugely, hugely significantly to the point where I can wake up at about seven o'clock in the morning now and work solidly to about six without any breaks, um, any feeling of energy stumps and then declines, of course. I can feel very, I feel very, very optimally set day in and day out as a result of training like this and removing inflammation from my body's being a negative implication on my life as well, which is very important as a variable. Um, and overall, I couldn't recommend more just getting in the gym, training yourself as uh, obviously a very high intensity and educating yourself in terms of how to optimize your body. Hence why I've done this, gone through this process myself and tested all these concepts and applied that to the clients I work with now. But yeah, this process has been absolutely huge for me. It's taught me so much about myself in terms of my own personal life and obviously how that applies to my life in terms of my career as well. Um, in all honesty, I don't think I would have been able to achieve what I've achieved so far in my career and obviously will achieve in the future also had I not been through this process of optimizing my body and pushing myself to new limits, new boundaries in different variables of fitness, whether it be cardiovascular, whether it be weightlifting, whether it be CrossFit workouts, calisthenics workouts, I hit the whole lot and I enjoy all of them in terms of different intensity, tra intensity of training, different kind of frequency of training, also different kind of techniques and styles and learning from new experts in different spaces. I apply all of that into my own training day in and day out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you took something from that. And if anything, make sure you get yourself in the gym as soon as possible or um, achieving your fitness related goals as soon as possible. I can totally promise you it will totally transform your life. Leave this video a thumbs up. Obviously, comment down below if you have any questions for me and subscribe to the channel. My way, my way.